Lift him up. January 16. The wise men welcome him. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? The king of glory stooped low to take humanity, and angels, who had witnessed his splendor in the heavenly courts, as he was worshipped by all the heavenly hosts, were disappointed to find their divine commander in a position of so great humiliation. The Jews had separated themselves so far from God that angels could not communicate to them the tidings of the advent of the infant Redeemer. There came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. These men were not Jews, but they had been waiting for the predicted Messiah. They had studied prophecy, and knew the time was at hand when Christ would come, and they were anxiously watching for some sign of this great event, that they might be among the first to welcome the infant heavenly King and worship Him. These wise men were philosophers, and had studied the works of God in nature, in the wonders of the heavens, in the glories of the sun, moon, and stars, they traced the finger of God. They were not idolaters. They lived up to the dim light which shone upon them. These wise men had seen the heavens illuminated with light, which enshrouded the heavenly host who heralded the advent of Christ to the humble shepherds. And after the angels returned to heaven, a luminous star appeared and lingered in the heavens. This light was a distant cluster of flaming angels, which appeared like a luminous star. The unusual appearance of the large, bright star which they had never seen before, hanging as a sign in the heavens, attracted their attention. They were not privileged to hear the proclamation of the angels to the shepherds. But the Spirit of God moved them out to seek this heavenly visitor to a fallen world. The wise men directed their course where the star seemed to lead them, and as they drew nigh to the city of Jerusalem, the star was enshrouded in darkness and no longer guided them. The wise men are surprised to see no unusual interest upon the subject of the coming of the Messiah. The wise men plainly stated their errand, they were in search of Jesus, the King of the Jews, for they had seen his star in the east and had come to worship him. The advent of Christ was the greatest event which had taken place since the creation of the world. The eye of God was upon his Son every moment. The gifts brought to them, Joseph and Mary, by the wise men, sustained them while in the land of Egypt. Egypt. 